Hello friends, Miss Artgren here, and today we're gonna go through how to draw characters in different poses. Standing up, sitting down, some action poses, things like that. I'm gonna go through my steps on how I kind of work those out. So if I just wanna think of the pose off the top of my head, or if I wanna look at a reference maybe and break it down, this is my technique. <laughs> so spoiler, the technique basically revolves around drawing out like a head shape and then a skeleton to start with. And by skeleton, I mean like very stick figure skeleton. And then I kind of build on that. Even just those basic lines help me picture what I'm doing. And this is going to be based in the ability to lasso a section of the drawing and move it around and transform it with the transform tool and stuff. So if you are doing this traditionally, you might just have to do a little bit more erasing than I will be doing. I'll show you what I need. First thing I'm going to do is draw the head and I'm just going to draw a circle for that. And uh, maybe even like a little bit skinnier circle since I made this so oblong. To do that, I'm hitting Command T and that brings up the transform ability and then you just change it with these little boxes on the side. All right, we'll draw her in a playful pose. So maybe her head is kind of looking up. For now, I'm just gonna quickly draw in the shape of a head. I sort of put in the neck maybe on where it's gonna go. And then the next line I draw is kind of like what I call her shoulder line. So do I want her shoulders to be like skewed? So one shoulder's up, one shoulder's down like that. Do I want her shoulders to be straight? You know, what angle do I want them at? A little bit like this. So this one will be up and this one will be down just a little bit. And then the next thing I draw is the action line. And that's just kind of like the bend of the body. Think of her chest going out like here, but maybe her hips are coming down like this. So I'm just thinking that ahead of time and it's just gonna create her chest here and her hips here more or less. But you can kind of see hopefully the positioning I'm going with. So let's go ahead and kind of fill this out a little bit more as we go. So we're gonna have this shoulder going up. We can maybe make her so she's, maybe we'll change these later, but for now we'll have like an arm up here and maybe this one is going out. A little bit of a spontaneous, spontaneous maybe pose. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing I kind of do is draw in just sort of this uh, rectangular shape. I think of you know, kind of her chest cavity area, like if she had ribs. So this is kind of where that area is. Uh, let's draw a line for her waist. Her her hips here. I typically draw like they're in underwear <laughs> and it just kind of helps me keep track of like the twist of her hips. So if she was in underwear or a bikini or something, you know, that's kind of helping me figure out her hips are twisted up this way. Okay. And then I just sort of connect it with the waist area. And if she is a average body type, she'll have this kind of skinny waist here and the hips here. And then if you want to you know, change the body type up. That's up to you. There's a bend in here and then it comes out here. And then you can see already because we've done this, it's established that kind of tilt to her hips. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can fit her legs in a little easier. Uh, the next thing I do is I usually put two circles here and these are kind of like thinking of her hip joint where I guess the femur uh, connects up with the hip area using just the sticks, just like we did with the arms. We're gonna make the legs now. So maybe we'll make one leg go down like this and tuck back there and this other one will be like a complete straight out thing here. These are the knees that I'm adding here and maybe it'll go out and in like this. Uh, actually, I think this leg maybe should go in a little bit more like this and this leg maybe comes out like this. I'm going to probably give her a bit of a pigeon toe effect. So that's kind of how I'm going to go with that style there. Okay, so now we have a little bit more energy in her figure and the last thing to do is just going to be to flesh her out. Make this thigh here. Your thighs are typically thicker by the uh, hips and then they taper into the knee area. And we'll do the same here. It's going to taper into her knee area here. So I'm going to bend this, er, this line in as I sketch it in and then her calf will be sticking out a bit here. The other knee area will taper in here and we give her a little bit of a knee bump there. And then her calf area, <laughs> her lower leg area will look something like this. We don't have to get it perfect. We're just mostly trying to get a body placement. Finally, for the feet, I usually just kind of draw like, um, like a flipper. <laughs> kind of look. Uh, if she's actually jumping, I suppose we could take that into consideration and give her, like that would be her ankle socket. <laughs> and then her, her like toes might dip down a bit. And then this leg will go in, her knee will be here. And then the bottom one will come out like that. And we want this tapering in here and here. Perhaps we would benefit a little bit from getting some foreshortening. Draw this in from the edge of the knee 
so it's like it's gone back and when you color this typically you'll put a little bit of shading there so you can tell it's gone back just a touch put her her other foot in <laughs> however you want maybe it's like that since I've decided to go with a little foreshortening I'm gonna do a little tweak on this I'm gonna select this I hit the L key for the lasso tool I hit the command or control T for transform I'm gonna just hold down the command key or control key and move this up a little bit here and then since this is going back there'll be a little little bit of a um, foreshortening with the foot here too. And I'll show examples of the final work, but for now we're just getting the placement down. Okay, and then maybe I'll move this leg. So I'm gonna hit the lasso tool, select this like that, hit Command T. There's a little center thing here and this affects where your box rotates from. So I'm actually gonna move that right up to her hip joint here and then twist it in to give her a little bit more of like this leg is over this leg effect. Okay, and then one last little tweak. Select this, hit Command T, move my little uh, anchor point thing there, and move this up. Uh, we'll flesh out her arms too. Same kind of deal, whether it's a tapering, a uh, little bit of a uh, bend on the arm there. Uh, for now, we'll put her hands. We kind of do the same thing, just like a flipper. It's a little bit more of like a paddle, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe all these boating metaphors make no sense. <laughs> you know, her hand maybe go like that. When you um, actually draw the hands in, that's the thumb area, and then her her fingers are, I don't know, something, something like that. And this one, maybe do the same sort of thing. You can decide later. And then when I go to finalize this, I'd probably just make a few little adjustments like her head size and tilt and maybe I would turn this whole thing give her a little bit more kinetic energy okay so that is the first one we're going to move on now to a different pose someone like sitting or lounging so we're going to picture them in a chair let's start with the head as we usually do and maybe their head will be kind of like this uh, they might be resting on an arm or something let's get this fleshed out so in our head we want them sitting so i'm going to think about if her head is on her arm her shoulder is going to be about there you can kind of picture like her i know i'm skipping ahead a bit but just kind of picture Sure that that'll be her hand maybe like that so that's kind of what's in my head right now so if her shoulder is going to be here the line will go the other line will go over here her other shoulder might be here and her arm will be kind of relaxing like that her action line will be if that's the chair and maybe the butt of the chair would be down there you can kind of picture she'd have a little bit of an arch going on this back area so her action line will kind of bend in like that and her booty will be right there and then her hip line you know can picture like this this is going to be a little bit from the side so let's go ahead and draw in the underwear <laughs> look as we usually do so if this is from the side her you know leg would be like that hopefully this isn't too messy if her hip is here the other one goes back into here you wouldn't see it as much actually it would probably go forward a little bit like that so um this hip femur leg area will go out and that's where her knee would start and then her foot maybe would drop to the floor like so and then you know her foot would be here and then the um, other leg you can picture would start back here somewhere and I'm gonna put it on the chair like her knee is bent so I'm gonna picture maybe not that high it going up a little bit like that and trying to keep these lines somewhat even and then it would go down like that and against the chair bottom area there you can kind of picture it in there hopefully and then we'll go back and put her arm in we wanted it to go out and then come in and then her hand would be draping off the back of this and this shoulder I've decided since <laughs> I've kind of drawn her head at such an angle it'll really kind of curl down a little bit so it'll be kind of drooping and her other arm can you know go down like that so let's draw in we skipped the torso area uh, originally the chest bone <laughs> rib cage area let's draw that in and her back will be bent back like that okay and we can make a uh, little adjustments like i think i should bring that down just a bit and then her thing out like that okay so we've kind of got a, a sitting position hopefully this reads well <laughs> let's erase this so it doesn't get confused so this is her thigh it'll sit in the front the forefront this one will be in the back and we'll, we'll work on getting those lines all matched up here uh, so we're going to move this out and down like this and then this one will go up and then her calf will be like that maybe her foot will be uh, we can we can kind of prop it like that or something <laughs> 
and then her other foot is back here and depending on what she's wearing um, for the hip we'll just leave it like that for now until I decide the outfit <laughs> uh, and then we'll make sure that this is going down um, at the bend and coming down like that. Her arm might be a little bit too high there depending on the kind of chair I draw in the end but it would look something like that and then the, the chair would come down and that would be the butt <laughs> of the chair and then the, the legs would go out like that and like that. Okay, so that is just kind of a sitting pose. A little bit more messy than the other one. Sometimes it's hard to work these out in your head and it's okay to be messy as long as you can keep up with how it reads. I will show everyone the uh, sort of like finalized line art <laughs> of how these all might look in the end. I would have to bring the chair out here like that. But there we go. Okay, so that is a sitting pose. I don't know why it ended up so much smaller than this one. Let's just go ahead and blow it up a bit. Maybe like an OCD thing. I want them to kind of match sizes. Okay, so now let's do like a, a warrior pose or something. Let's draw someone with a bow and arrow. Start with their heads as we have been doing. Let's move this over so I have more room uh, over here like this. And we'll draw their face shape in like so. Just get like a head <laughs> head of some kind here. Actually, I'm going to select this and turn it down because I think you sort of bend your head down. So if she's holding, she or he is holding a bow. We can do a guy this time since we just did two girls. So if we're doing a guy, we'll make him a little more broader shouldered. And this will be this tilt for him. That will be the bottom. And this one will be the top. <laughs> Uh, like so if he's drawing the bow in, I'll just do this real quick. It would be something like this and then this was holding the bow like that. <laughs> so that's the general idea in my head. Let's make it a reality. <laughs> his action lines, this will be the front of his chest. So his action line will be like this. He'll be bending like this and then his torso slash rib cage because he's a guy usually a lot more broader and doesn't taper as much. Like these have been tapering in a bit more um, but for the guys they tend to have more of a straight looking torso so I'm going to keep that fairly straight like that. Uh, I still do do the underwear <laughs> look for them so let's go ahead and draw that in here. We'll put his underwear quote unquote like that uh, so if his, his legs were on that side and that side and let's add those arms back that I have now that I've got his body a little bit more positioned right although I'm going to select the body with that lasso tool and maybe twist it up just a bit because I could see right now it was looking a little bit too long. There's all these rules like supposedly the head is supposed to be two and a half lengths, the torso, but I've never found that. See that's just about two for me. If that. I've never found that to look very accurate. I think I think just whatever looks good to you. His arm will be going up like this, uh, maybe at this angle and it would be going down. I'm just going to loosely put this in and we can change it later if it's wrong. This, um, if his neck is like that, his shoulder might be actually coming out like that. Maybe it would go like you could see a little bit more of it forward at this pose. So maybe there would be a line there depending on what he's wearing and stuff. We're going to put his arm out so that he could be shooting it like that. So let's just go ahead and move that center and then this would be the hand area and then we'll draw the curve of the bow and we can change that up later. So this would, let's tweak it a bit until these line up. So we want this hand to be grabbing this. So what we need to do is just kind of move this in a bit and I'm going to twist it down a bit more and then move this forward a bit until it's a little bit more so maybe it'll be right at his face that this is going and we can move this one in a bit more once again and that looks pretty good. So now that's matching up a little bit more. So we have this arm coming down like that. Let's finish his legs before we flesh out the arms actually even though they're going to be pretty standard. Maybe this leg would go out a bit if I can draw a straight line. Can I draw a straight line? That's today's challenge. <laughs> this leg would be going out maybe a bit like he's braced on it and we can bring his foot in and then this one would just be going down. So he's a uh, shooting off the castle or something. I don't know why I had him shooting downwards because uh, I wanted that pose of that I guess. All right so we have legs. We can flush them out while we're here. Guys don't typically have very wide um, hips so just a little bit more straightforward and then this one too a little bit more straightforward and I give him a little bit thicker thicker legs. 
he's a warrior we'll give him a little bit more thicker and then uh, his knee area would taper here just like the other one give his calf an area here and the other calf would be like here and uh, we'll go ahead and just put his foot coming out like that um, I'm not really happy with that but we'll change it in a minute let's get this leg in first and uh, we'll just kind of draw in a shape of like foreshortened where his foot would be for now like that and then I'm gonna select his legs and I'm actually just gonna spin them so this isn't quite um, so like he's kicking it up <laughs> and then I can select this one as well move that little anchor round point up here move it down and that's just that'll, that'll be good enough make that work <laughs> All right, now let's finalize the arms. We'll get this uh, forearm, this the, yeah, I guess forearm, <laughs> the non-bicep arm <laughs> part of the arm would be actually in front from this perspective. So you're going to lose this to the back area here, the bicep area. So uh, we're going to get that forearm, something like that. And we have the hands. I'm just going to draw them. Uh, I know they're going over the face right now. Hopefully that's not too confusing. But I'm going to draw them maybe a little bit bigger than that. For right now, uh, he would have that drawn, the bow drawn. So we'll draw that out like that maybe. Get rid of that line. And we'll draw this one out like that. And then get rid of that line. And this uh, forward arm, we'll reshape it here. This might be coming in a little bit from this perspective. So this would actually be his back and then his bicep would be here. Give it a little bit more. And then his forearm would be here. Okay. Hopefully that reads <laughs> a little bit messy. And then his hand would be holding the bow. Uh, I suppose it would be, I have to look up an archer's hand. <laughs> something like this and then all the little little hand things would be coming in maybe at like an angle like that or something you probably cannot tell what I it's in my head it's working in my head <laughs> uh, and then we'll um, tweak the the bow so it's a little bit more bent like that okay so that's pretty good for the pose on that let's move this a little out of the way so we can have a little bit more room. I'm going to move her a little bit up. Let's do a girl who is sitting and hugging her knees. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to move this all over as much as I can for right now so that I'll have a little bit more room. So we will start with the head as we have been doing. Yeah, we'll, we'll have her pretty much looking into her knees, if not totally looking into her knees. So we'll give that head shape like that. And then for her neck, it'll be pretty much going behind her shoulders here. So this will be uh, shoulder number one. Shoulder number two will be technically back there. You won't be able to see it very well. The action line would be like so. Her back would be bending back and then forward. This would be the angle of her hips here. A little bit weird because they're actually bent in. I'll just do the skeletal part of this first. <laughs> her knees would come up like this, her legs or whatever and then down like this so that would be her kneecap and then down like this and the same on this side it'd be a little bit more like that come up her knee would actually be over here and it would come down you can decide if it wants to go in front or back let's do this one in front very difficult to see i can tell <laughs> so the first thing i'm going to do is move the head a little bit more i'm going to shrink it this way because it looks a little bit oblong right now Move the head a little bit more down so like she can actually be resting on her knees and then we will work out how her arms are going to be are they going to come down here her elbow would be about here they could go down to her feet so let's flesh this out her back is coming back here uh, it actually would have a flat part after the shoulder bends out and then it would kind of bend down at an angle like this <laughs> where her butt would be down here and then draw in her shoulder so starting up here her forearm will go down here and her bicep maybe I keep saying forearm everything is a forearm now <laughs> forearm I think is the, the bottom part of the arm okay so that's her shoulder there and then we can erase this and kind of define more her forearm <laughs> and it'll go in like that and then we will put her hand will be something like that. We'll just place that shape right now. Okay, so we have that arm done. Let's flesh out the other arm. There we go. <laughs> It'll just mostly be back there. Uh, maybe you could have her hands lacing like this 
and you would just barely see a little bit of it here <laughs> but most of it's gonna be behind those knees there okay so let's draw in said knees if this is the tops they would come down here and the thigh is gonna meet right about here you're gonna see mostly here and then we'll go down here and it'll be reaching down here okay so hopefully that makes sense this is the thigh area her booty is here <laughs> and the other one would be back here you couldn't really see much of it so something like that it goes up at this angle and then actually what's going to happen because it's so pulled in tight to her body this um, calf line is going to pretty much go in right there like it's really not a lot of space between her thighs and her calf she's almost totally holding them up to get this angle <laughs> we'll put that down like that i think we had one leg go out like this so her foot would be here if we could maybe draw it a little bit less like a witch's foot <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter that shape there and the other one comes here let's erase some of these confusing lines the knee comes out a bit here and this would go down like that and then her calf would actually taper in a little bit better here and then her her foot maybe was like this maybe that one's going out a little bit more I usually put in the torso line which would be there and then her hip would end there uh, and then her booty would come whoops come out like that so get a little bit better of a line there okay so uh, if you really wanted her to look less like she's half committed you could put her face right on it there and erase this and her her neck would be going all the way back like that so she's really hugging herself there <laughs> okay I don't know why that's so much smaller than the others we'll just blow it up again and we'll pretend I did it the perfect size the first time <laughs> I suppose we have room maybe if I put her down here we have room for one more pose maybe we'll just move our little archer dude right over here so for this last one let's do a running pose so let's draw a face as we usually do let's draw the shoulders a little bit at this angle because what I'm imagining in my head is this arm is back and this arm is maybe in front <laughs> and I know that looks like a crazy spider person but let's work it out so this shoulder would be here this shoulder would be in the front action line is gonna be a little bit foreshortened so this would be her chest but it's actually going down here and her hips would be here and it's because she's bent over as she's running her hips would be pretty much I'm gonna match them with the shoulders so we'll have the one leg coming here and this will be like the closest point to the camera so to say <laughs> and it'll have kind of a bendy look and this leg right here will go down at a little more straighter pace uh, a little bit behind that knee I think I might draw it out a little bit matching up the length of the knee it'll go like that and then her foot will be like this I think uh, I drew her hips a little too wide <laughs> for the running so I'm gonna select it move this whole thing down here and move this over so her hips match up a little bit better so if her head is being kind of in front of her shoulder area is being foreshortened her shoulders are gonna meet up behind her head so um, this one will go here this one will go here and we can draw the arms down the way we want I'm gonna bring the shoulder up a little bit closer to her head this one will go down and then over and that would be maybe a fist or something this one would go back uh let's move her over a little bit closer to the archer so we can get that proper back area in so this would go back and then um maybe her her hand was like this looks a little silly huh <laughs> i'm gonna erase this because it, it's a little untrue the, the hand would be more like that not down further okay anyways <laughs> the placements there so let's go ahead and add this torso area um, her rib cage will be here and here I'm gonna try to give this a little bit of a, a bend in I know that um, it's not gonna match the action line perfectly there but I, I think it the way the hips match up it'll be a little bit like that uh, this one will go around her her thigh and her leg would actually come down like this and this let's draw it out a little bit I think I drew it a little too short the first time so we'll draw it like that and then it would go back her calf line would be interrupted by this one so it would start back here actually I think maybe let's foreshorten her leg a little bit more so it's at this angle and her foot's actually just back here <laughs> that looks a little bit 
better, maybe. We'll, we'll see in the end. We can tweak it if we don't like it. And then this side, her hip was going like that. Let's erase some of these lines so they're a little bit more readable. Um, if we were to do her underwear, which we didn't do this time because I was figuring out a little bit of a funny pose, that's how the underwear would look. And there's a little bit of a foreshortened bend there. I can leave that in like that. Okay, so then her other leg is coming down like this. The taper of the knee area is here. We'll remember that. We'll put that down like that. <laughs> Let's move her up a bit so she doesn't have a very short leg. <laughs> in the end, we have plenty of room. And then we'll bend this down like this. Put her her calf area back like that. And yeah, that looks okay, I think. And then her foot would be a little bit towards the camera. Let's get this like that. So her foot would be just like that. Uh, I've drawn her head a little bit too big, I think. I can shrink that a bit and make it look a little bit more natural. And then I guess the last thing to do would just to be to uh, fill out these arms. So this arm, this line would be in the front since her forearm is in the front of this here. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do her hand for now. We'll just leave it like that little stumpy <laughs> look. Uh, this um, would have like her shoulder area here like that. And then this is going back like that. And then from the back area here with this line in front, you could you would see the rest of this since it's it's pushed back. So the, <laughs> the bicep area would be taking that. And then maybe her, her hand could actually come a little bit of an angle like that. So there we go. We've drawn several poses. I'm going to make my guy a little bit bigger to match the rest of them. He was the only guy, wasn't he? So here's all the action poses we have worked out. They're not perfect, but they're a good starting point. So if I take these guides and I turn them into real drawings, <laughs> this is something like what you might get drawings base very similar off the poses I've made. So hopefully that helps. My goal was just to kind of show my process and it's really hard to draw something that you picture in your head perfectly. So if you cannot get it to look exactly like it's in your head, sometimes you have to put something down and adapt to what you've been able to put down instead. Thank you for joining me. I really hope this was helpful. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have other things you want me to go over, any tutorial suggestions or workshop, ideas or whatever, feel free to leave them too. I'm always happy to try to help people out. Thank you everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and I will see you in the next video.